in last class we studied about total product marginal product and average product tp mp and ap okay so soon we studied how we can find out these values also we studied today we can study about the law of diminishing marginal product and the law of variable proportions okay then here uh, then there are Uh, there are some laws of diminishing marginal product and law of variable proportion you can see in this diagram here tp is first first when labor is one that time tp is total product is 10 and when labor is two that time total product is 24 okay here you can see the values okay that time total product is 24 and when labor is 3 that time total product is 40 and when labor is 4 that time total product is 50 and when labor is 5 that time uh, total product is 50 uh, here uh, 56 and when it is 6 that time it is 57 okay then we can plot the total product curve okay this uh, this curve explain the total product curve okay the rate at which total pro uh, total product increases as explained above is shown by the marginal product curve you can see another one more curve marginal product curve and another one more curve you can see this curve this curve is the marginal product curve and this is the average another one curve is there that one is the average product curve okay here this is the average product curve here three curves are there okay here we got the values marginal product when labor is one that time marginal product is 10 this is the value when labor is two that time marginal product is what is the value of marginal product marginal product 14 then it is when it is 3 it is 16 then it is 10 then it is 6 and then it is 1 okay these are the values you can see the points when we joining these points we will get the marginal product curve okay then we got the total product curve and we got the marginal product curve now next one is average product curve what is the value of average product when labor is 1 that time average product is 10 and when labor is 2 that time average product is 12 when labor is 3 it is 13.3 here you can see average product okay then when labor is 1 that time it is 10 then when labor is 2 that time 13 point something then when labor is 3 that time value is this much when uh, labor is for that time average product is 12.5 okay then this one then 11 point something and it is 10 then when we are joining this curve we will get the average product curve okay then we got the total product curve average product curve marginal product curve okay then we can see in the picture or in the is diagram the tendency of the marginal product first increase and then fall is called as law of variable proportion means in this diagram you can see this marginal product curve you can see this marginal product curve that marginal product curve first first it is increasing then it is falling means first first it rises and after that it sloping downwards okay this law is called as law of variable proportion or law of diminishing marginal product okay then law of variable proportion says that the marginal product of a factor input initially rises which factor input initially rises here which factor we are increasing labor we are increasing when we are increasing labor first first it will increase the total product or marginal product first first it will increase and after that it will start to fall okay with means 
law of variable proportion says that the marginal product of a factor input initially rises with its employment level but after reaching a certain level certain level of employment it starts falling means here we know here we can see after reaching certain level means after reaching this level it start to fall means it is diminishing first first it is increasing like this then after that it is decreasing means diminishing okay then marginal product here it is diminishing this one we are calling as law of variable proportion or the law of diminishing marginal product okay the tendency of the marginal product first increases and then it falls that one is the law of variable proportion means we are varying on proportion which proportion we varied labor proportion we varied from on we increased it to two from two we increased it to three then from three we increased it to four but when we reached the third labor that time this marginal product became its maximum okay after that it start to fall means this is the maximum employment level more than that one when we are increasing the labors that time what is happening that time labor is decreasing okay then uh, why does this happen what is the reason for this one because we can go to an example okay suppose in a four hectares of land okay here you can see one example is there a farmer who has four hectares of land and chosen uh, how much of labor he wants okay if he uses only one worker he has to he has too much land for the work okay means if four hectares of land is there only one labor means that one is not enough and he need to increase the number of workers okay the amount of labor increases each worker proportionally increases the production okay then when the marginal product also increase as per the production increases okay when when he increased the fourth worker or when he added fourth worker the land begins to get crowded means for that land three worker is enough okay each worker has sufficient place to uh, do their work okay when they are uh, when the farm uh, when the producer or that owner adding on more worker that time it that land became crowded because of that reason that workers will not get sufficient place to work means each worker now has insufficient land to work efficiently means each worker they are uh, they are not getting proper land for work okay then the marginal products begins to fall that reason after reaching a maximum level means with uh, rises in with its employment level but after reaching a certain level of employment it starts falling means fourth worker also coming means for fourth worker also coming means that land became crowded they cannot work properly their production will decrease okay then this one we are calling as what we are calling law of variable proportion okay means we are varying on a factor of production means labor here what we change labor we change then after that uh, what what happen means uh, when we increase labor after a stage production became less okay this one is the law of variable proportion now we can study the shapes of total product and marginal product and average product curve okay here you can see the total product curve in this axis you can see the labor and in this axis you can see the output okay then here we can see the total product if we are plotting total product 
then normally we will get the uh, wet, get a curve like this shape okay what is the shape of total product curve first first a total product curve for a uh, labor first first it will uh, increase after reaching a maximum it, it will be constant okay it shows the different output level obtainable from the different units of labor the marginal product of an input initially rises and then after a certain level um, certain level of employment it start falling then we know the uh, uh, we know the sh uh, shape of the total product curve it is a positively sloped curve okay means it is positively sloped curve and in the case of marginal product curve you can see the marginal product curve first first it is uh, increasing or it rises and after a stage in this stage this in this stage production is maximum if we are employing more labors what will happen what will happen production will be less okay means marginal product of labor will reduce okay Th then this is the maximum employment level okay after that it will start to diminish okay then what is the shape of marginal product curve we can see this is a inverse u inverse u means opposite of u shape okay inverse u shape then marginal product curve is inverse uh, u shape okay what is the shape of in, uh, marginal product curve it is inverse u the marginal product of input uh, initially rises and then after a certain level of employment it starts falling the mb curve therefore looks like an inverse u shape okay the first variable uh, unit means the first unit of the variable input on can easily check the mp and ap are the same here you can see mp and ap are almost same when we increase the amount of input mb rises and ap being average of marginal product ap also rises then after a point okay mb starts falling from this point mb starts falling as the value of mb remains higher than always mb will be higher than the ap means this curve every time it will be above the ap curve mb curve will be above the ap curve what is the reason because mb value will be higher than the ap value here you can see the values Okay, in this table you can see the value here it is 10 almost same okay first starting point it is almost same then here it is 14 mb value is 14 higher and ap value is 12 here it is 16 and here it is 13 here it is 10 here it is 12 and here it is 6 and here it is 11.2 then first first starting stage you can see what is, what is the reason because first first starting stage mb value will be higher than the average product value that reason this one is always above the uh, ap line mp line is always above the ap line okay then as long as the ap increases mb is here we know mb is uh, greater than ap and uh, ap cannot rise when ap falls when mp start to falls after a stage what will happen after a stage ap also will start to fall that time mp will be above the sorry ap will be above the mp curve because the value difference will come after when it start to fall after that ap value will be higher or uh, greater okay then when ap falls mb has to be uh, less than the final product